This is my fit. <laughs> it's random. Oh wait, they haven't seen Tony, have they? I don't know if I can show you guys. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'll have to hold it for you. Tony! Like Ivy Drew. Ivy Drew. A face on that. You can't Amy's even. Foot. It's Tony. It was funny at the time. Yeah, but you it's guys probably Sharpie. don't think it's funny, but. It was late at night and they were being silly. Sharpie. This is a Tag Tuesday video. Tag Tuesday. Amy thought of the topic and I think it's an awesome one. Movies! Movies! Movies, M for movie. I love getting to know you more. Whatever. Movie. Yes, what she said. I love getting to know you more through your movies and through all your favorite things and through the tag topics. It's fun. Tag Tuesday is one of my favorite series ever because we learn so much. We have crazy fun and we laugh. It is really funny. A lot. Yes. So let's just dive right in. Okay. Number one, what is your favorite movie of all time? You go first. I think one of my favorite movies of all time has got to be um, The Lion King, Disney. Love it. Beautiful. I used to be able to like say every word from word from word from word from word. Like from the very beginning of the movie, I could script it all. It was awesome. I can still kind of do it. Life's not fair, is it? I could do the whole thing. It used to be great. Yeah, yeah. I love that we did a few different Lion King things. She's younger than me, so to her, this was like a childhood movie. I think the Lion King came out. I think I was a teenager. A hundred. I'm kidding. I was a hundred years old. I'm really only. I'm really 120. That's how old I am, and it's miraculous, isn't it? Yeah. Lion King's a beautiful movie. It's got such beautiful, powerful messages, and it's the first kind of obsession I had as a kid. Everybody does spoofs on Lion King. It's like, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me the face of that fern. <laughs> I'm holding up Simba. This fern is called Simon. No, his name is Fern. But that's Simon. She wants to name it Simon. <laughs> it's a girl, and her name is Fern. There's a girl called Simon. Okay. I used to have a tree, and she was a silver birch, and she was called Stephen. I don't know why. I, I, I liked her name. name a couple times for a girl, actually. Stephen. I like to name plant life when they're females, guy names. So We're way off topic. We're way off Simon, topic. And she's a happy Simon. We're now going to our favorite plants. Amy's favorite fake plant is Simon. My favorite happy place. <laughs> <laughs> My land of fairies. We need to go back to the movie time. Uh, okay, I'll So Lion back. King. I could have guessed that. I could have guessed that. What is your favorite movie of all time? I don't know. I love the movie Contact with Jodie Foster. I love astronomy. She loves... <laughs> I do. I love astronomy. I know what your other favorite movie is. What is it? The Booger Man. <laughs> You're gonna like make that movie just so I have to hear Booger Man. No Booger! Sense. It's gonna be this huge blockbuster hit and it'll Booger. be everywhere. Booger. I hate there is a Booger. movie called The Booger Man. It's Bogey Man. But it, I like to say Booger. I don't know why. Booger. Because I can see you cringe. <laughs> <laughs> say it. All right, Booger. So I will learn to be comfortable say with the Booger. word Booger. Say it. I don't want to. Say it! Booger. <laughs> Oh. All I can picture is kids eating them, and that's <laughs> all I picture when I hear the word is like kids eating oh. boogers. Boogers. So gross. So I have so many gross stories about boogers. I don't want to hear the story. I'm not going to share them today. We'll wait till boogers. we do a gross tag. We'll do like the gross booger tag. Boogers. Yeah. Boogers. Okay. Boogers. Okay. Boogers. I'll start talking about birds. Boogers. If, if you no. <laughs> boogers. Uteruses, I like that. Fallopian tubes. Ew. I'll just I'll keep going. Stop. I'll keep going. Boogers. Amniotic fluid. What is that? Ew. Mucus plug. Mucus is kind of boogers. Okay. That's boogers. <laughs> it is. It's like a really big birth booger. <laughs> all right, all right. These kids are going to change the. They're going to listen to somebody else in a minute if we don't stop. They're going to be so aggressive. Okay. Birth booger. They are. I, I would think that it should be renamed that. When you get pregnant Isn't someday. Is that a really a booger? We will preserve yours. No! Ew! <laughs> no! All right, guys, back to the topic at hand. My favorite movie is The Movie Contact with Jodie Foster based on going to space. Boogers. Okay. <laughs> what movie makes you cry the most? Hmm. Cry. Let me guess Lion King. It makes me cry a lot. And Bambi and the Fox and the Hound. But aside from Disney, Titanic. Oh yeah, Titanic's so a set. Yeah, that might be my biggest tearjerker too. I can't. The sadness is real. Do you know I saw mom. that in England? I went over to see my mom, like when it came out in England, and I saw yeah. it there. Yeah. 
I had a huge no, obsession with that as a kid. Like massive. I used to have books on it. I used to be like the only like even before the movie came out, I was obsessed with Titanic. I could tell you every date and every name as a weird thing. Very interesting. It's really interesting. I used to be like a little Titanic genius back then. When Amy likes something, she dives in it. Oh, and yeah. she learns everything about it. That's oh, like yeah. total immersion learning. So. It's a strange thing. Yeah, Titanic might be one of my saddest movies I've seen, where I really cried, like the whole way home in yeah. the car. It was, wow, yeah. I was too young to go to the movies. It was a 12, really? so I was like 11 at the time. Wow. I remember all my friends went, and I was such a little goody. I was just like, I can't, it's not quite a 12. And they were like, no, we're all getting in, it's fine. But I didn't dare, I didn't want to break the rules. That's so weird, I was like in my 20s. And you were 10. That's so weird to think of. So guys, if you're like 10, I mean, your best friend might be like in their 20s right now. You don't know, you won't know yeah, forever. So you were like 20 and I was like a, you were just a little cutie. We could have walked past each other. Holy moly, if you were in we England did. at the time, we could have like walked past each other. Cause we're so sisters, we were meant to meet, maybe. We could have, we could have been in London that day and who knows. Isn't that weird to think about? Yeah. All right, we've only answered one question. Let's Two. Get it right. Oh, have we? Oh, the stats. Stop it. Yeah. I forgot. The booger thing threw me off. I'm gonna go Boogers! Okay. <laughs> what is your, what is the scariest movie you've ever watched? The scariest movie? Probably The Blair Witch Project. Oh my goodness, yeah. That was Psychological scary. thrillers, like Blood and Guts. I mean, they don't really scare me. I kind of grew up watching all the Freddy Krueger movies, all the Elm Street movies, the all the slashes. Jason. Yeah, the slasher movies aren't scary to me. Oh. The Blair, yeah. Blair Witch Project scared me a lot. Oh yeah. That was freaky. Because it was a mind mess up movie. Like, you, you didn't see anything scary in it, but if you concentrated on it and like use your imagination especially, it messed with you a lot. And it was the first of its kind to like be filmed like a reality documentary kind of yeah. thing. So it was like that style of movie making was really new. They've done so many movies since then. Like the paranormal movies are all filmed the same way. But yeah. at the time, The Blair Witch was the only one that came out like that and it freaked me out. Because it was like it was real, like really real. Yeah, totally. I agree with you. I'm gonna say that is my scariest movie too. Okay, wow, we have so much in common. You never would have guessed. Boogers. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna miss my boogers. In fact, I don't you think are. I will. You will. You'll miss I my don't, boogers. That's the so only thing I won't miss about you, you is the word boogers. <laughs> if I miss your boogers, I will let you know. <laughs> you know, she's gonna ring me next week and cry. She might gave me. I need to have your boogers back. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think I will? We'll boogers. see. Okay, next question. You ready? Yes. What movie inspired you the most? I know what you're gonna say. I think. The secret. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, yes. That's yeah. 10 points. Yes, we're counting 10 with points, points to Gryffindor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're secret. winning. We don't know who we're competing against, but we get 10 points for Gryffindor. Yeah. Yes. What was your most inspirational movie? The Goonies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good movie. It was amazing. Like it's a great, really great movie. Every time I watch it, I go back into that kid mind again, and I'm like, have a thirst for adventure, and I want to go out and explore the world and just experience a bit of crazy danger and adventure and just be a kid. So it really doesn't inspire me. It's a weird no. choice, I know, but not really. I love that movie. It was great. Yeah, I can't watch it without feeling childhood magic. So, so important. Cool. Okay. Why do you like The Secret? Oh my gosh. And what just, is it? These children watching may not know what is the secret. You can see it on YouTube. You guys, I don't know if you'd be interested in it, but it's kind of a, like a self-empowerment movie and it talks about how your thoughts create your reality. And ever since I saw the movie like seven years ago, it changed my life because now I take responsibility for my thoughts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more to it, but it I really, it yeah, yeah, it was inspiring. Um, I love it. I watch it every couple months just to recharge that It's on Netflix, feeling. right? Yeah, Netflix, we can see it. The Secret. Check it out. It's good. Okay, hey, next question. What is your favorite kids movie? Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, you haven't seen it yet, have you? Yeah, I've seen bits of it. Have yeah, you? Okay, I love that movie. It is cute. Studio Ghibli by the creators of The Cat Returns and My Neighbor Totoro and stuff, right? Yeah, it's such a good movie. It's really um, based on a child who's 13 years old who's a witch and her parents totally support her going out. And, and God, I'm so. Yeah, and experiencing her life and growing and it's all about freedom and respect and I absolutely love that movie. I could see it a million times and never get sick of it. Okay. I think my favorite one is, I don't know if you have seen it, it's called Now and Then. 
it's about four girls, and I think it's set in the 70s, but it's like four girls who are the best of friends, and then like, as like adults, they have a reunion, and they like talk back, and they like reminisce, and they go back, and the whole movie is like their childhood, and it's so beautiful. I've never even heard of it. It's magical. We should see it. Is like, it on? I wonder, Netflix, we can see it yeah, tonight. You would love it. It's got like so many famous actresses in it, and like a few sad things happen, but it's so like, so girl power and it's so beautiful. It's like the Traveling Pants movie. Like that, but 10 years later. I've never seen that movie, I'm just, I heard it was. Yeah, it's like that, but way better. I couldn't watch that movie because I hated the title. It's exactly, just, I, just yeah, I, watch watch I just can't. I, if it's a good movie, no offense, it's just the title means a lot, and I just, Traveling Pants, love come now on. And Not many people have seen it or know it, and actually, Rosie, as in our friend, Stampy's friend, Rosie, um, she, me and her became really good friends because we both had a joint obsession with this movie and she was like, she was singing the song and I was like, I love this song, that's from my favourite movie and she's like, oh my god, you know now and then? I was like, that's the kids movie? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to show you trailer after this. Okay. You're going to love it. So next question is, what's your favourite musical? Uh, I know this she, one too. You, you, she knows it. Actually, she we share it. it. It's the same. Is it? We both love Annie. Yeah, I love the story. So much. Yeah, and he's awesome. Jada wishes she could be an adult orphan. I do. <laughs> like, my dream was to be in an Annie play, but now I'm too old to be an orphan, so now I have two choices. I can either be. You, you can do your hair like no, mine and have some like, it, it, won't, it won't happen. So, so I'm going to be either Miss Hannigan, Miss Hannigan, or Miss Farrell. Miss Who's Farrell's the crazy one? Miss Hannigan. I totally could pull it off. But I have crazy hair. Hey, you so I couldn't be mean to the little girls. Though. That would be hard. <laughs> I could sing. I could sing all the songs. But no, I loved that movie yeah. when I was a kid. I think I loved the idea that I loved that Daddy Warbucks wanted Annie so much and loved her so much. He used to dream about somebody wanting me that much in their life. You know, it's really tugs at my heartstrings. Yeah, it's my favorite story. sickness movie. Whenever I sick from school, I put it on, and it always makes me feel better. The one from the 80s, right? The yeah, 80s. yeah, 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 that original There's one. a few of them. That there's a new one out right now that I haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. I know I need to see it. I'm, I'm feeling a little torn. We both don't really like like remakes and stuff, do we? We like right. the original. The original Annie movie from the 80s was yeah, so the good. I even follow her on, I think, Twitter and like Instagram and Facebook. I follow the old actress from Annie. She's Hi, Annie Quinn. Girl. I'm your big fan. I love oh my you. God. She's my age now, and I just love her. She's still an actress, but yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little emotional. She's getting fun, If you're watching Annie. this, Aileen, please contact me. Stop, sis, stop. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, then. It was funny. We were at Disney, and I loved the Disney movie uh, Pete's Dragon. Oh, yeah. And then the electric... <laughs> I'm going to show you the picture, guys. Look. I'm going to show you the picture in a second. The, the Disney movie Pete's Dragon is a musical also, and it's really old, and no one in my family's seen it. You guys would probably hate it, too, by the way, but they had... Elliot, the dragon from Pete's Dragon and the Electric Light Parade. Yeah, you fangirl. I, I was the so only bad. one that fangirl. He came like, oh my, and I waved. <laughs> I'm like, Pete, Pete. And he must have been like, who's waving to me? Nobody even knows who this <laughs> movie is. Everyone's like looking at Buzz Lightyear or whoever. Yeah. And Amy took all these photos of me just like, fangirl. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really pathetic actually, but yeah. Okay, what is your favorite comedy? The Wedding Crashers. I've seen not that? seen it. <sighs> Is that amazing? It is such a funny movie. Do you die? I could watch it over and over and really? I love it. We should watch it tonight. We've got so many movies. We're watching now and then and now this. I think my favorite comedy, comedies, has got to be Clueless. Legendary. Mm -hmm. I watched that with one of my good friends, Glenn. He loves that movie. We can like, he actually knows every word from that. He has like t-shirts of quotes. He's obsessed with Clueless. So. Isn't that the movie Nev likes? Devin's yes. girlfriend? Okay. Devin's Devin girlfriend. saw that. Devin's girlfriend, Nev. Like that's her favorite movie. Me and Glenn, he's um, very special, I love him. He used to come to my house like after he'd finished work at the hospital at like 11pm and he'd come to my house and we'd watch Clueless and eat popcorn until like 2am and my mum would come down the stairs I'd just stop being so noisy because we'd <laughs> laugh so much. So yeah, Clueless and I love, I love Mean Girls, that's another one I used to watch with him. We always used to watch like the teenage like chick flicks. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that, I've seen parts of it. It's funny, it's, it's just, it's stupidly funny, like it's stupid. I love it. Cool. Last question. What is your favorite movie which was a book? So a book that turned into a movie. Hmm. Do you know mine? 
Um, if I thought about it, I could figure it out. Let's see. <clears throat> give me a clue. Well, is it Harry Potter? You, yes! <laughs> okay, well, that's I'll give you like three one. clues. I'll be like, we got him that he's thug. So Amy's such a Harry Potter door. fan. Like, you gotta, you gotta, Amy's such a Harry Potter fan that she, we could not go to Universal Studios. I'm not taking She them. won't take our family until we see all the movies and, we, and we're real fans. Because yes. she's not going to bring any posers. She's not going to bring people that aren't true fans. To see it, so if you walk down the street and said, "Sis, what is Slytherin?" I will. She would die. So that's part of. She's like, "Well, I'll take you guys to Universal Studios. We're gonna go as a family, but not until you watch all the movies and you know everything." I'm gonna quiz you at the end of each movie. Yeah. So we're, we said, "Okay, we'll learn." Harry Potter is awesome. Best Didn't you say the, the books were different here? Yeah, like um, if you like, because I couldn't live without Harry Potter, so they had to like give me their Harry Potter books to read while I was here. So they changed words in it, and one word is booger. Not even kidding. They changed it to that? Yeah, like oh when they're eating um, birdie bar steppy flavored beans, and Ron says, you know, that one of the two get excited. She, she's calm down. Okay. I know, I know. Take a deep breath. Breathe through it. You got it. What are the beans? What are you talking about beans? The birdie bar steppy flavored beans. What's every flavor beans? Literally every flavor beans. Just so flavors of beans or different flavors? Like there could be a, 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 Cheese flavored bean, hmm. but is Ron, it like the bean boozle challenge? Right? Yes, it's like oh, that. Gosh. But Ron says that his brother swore he got a bogey one, and in the you know the American books he says booger. Oh. I'm not even kidding. Bogey? What's a bogey? Just the English booger. Oh, I like that word better. I'm a bogey. bogey. I just can't. I like the word bogey better than booger. Can you say bogey again? Bogey, booger. We have a boogeyman here in the U.S. Boogeyman. But he's not a booger man, he's not a bogey man. You haven't met him yet. Oh no, now see now what? She's, I scare her easily and I don't realize that I am. And I just scared her. It's okay, sis. It's okay. He's not into the bed. This room is a uh, boogeyman free, I promise. I put a boogeyman repellent okay. at the bottom of the stairs. So he won't come up here. Okay, my favorite. You're gonna think it's stupid and old lady-ish. <laughs> I can't tell you. What is it, the Bible? <laughs> no. The Bridges of Madison County. What even is that? It's a love story. <laughs> and I loved the book. It was one of Oprah's top picks. Back and great the then, fantastic, I shall buy it. <laughs> we don't really notice the age difference between us, but every once in a while it creeps up, we're like, wow. <laughs> They're crazy. The Bridges of Madison County is a love story. I loved it, loved the book. The movie was so-so, it was with Clint Eastwood. And Who? Oh. <laughs> Guys, Wait. really? Eastwood? You guys are all probably saying what she's saying. Tell, ask your parents who Clint Eastwood is. Clint. He's huge. You've seen him before. You've seen him. We went on the great movie ride at Hollywood Studios and he was the cowboy. <laughs> Look at my ears. <laughs> That's so this sad is, right now. And his ears have slowly, like, flattened. <laughs> because they, it's sad. like a real cat. She, because I'm going. Like, yeah. I still haven't left yet. I have. We're recording these in advance. So I'm in England again. I'm in England right now. Yeah, she's in England while you're watching this. So, when I get sad, my cat is, they, they go down like this. Just like a real cat. Yeah, that's when you know I'm sad. Aww. Yeah, that was the last question of our movies tag. It was great to- Did you have fun? Yeah, I love our tags. I always I say do. that. Yes, yeah, so I really love this video. I love you. <laughs> oh my god, that was creepy! <laughs> I love you. We I have so you. many bloopers. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you more. You know what? She's gonna wipe Wait. a booger right on the camera. You just did. You sick I I'm disgusted. I, I love this person watching right now. This one. I love Can her see more. Her? I love her more. She's really sweet. And I love him. That guy. He's watching. He, he freaks me out. I, don't I, know, I, I, I love you more. Oh, I love you, sis. I love you, boogers. I'll save them for you. <laughs> I'll save them for you. <laughs> when you come back, Booker. I'll mail them to you. Ew. <laughs> Bookers are gross. I'd rather see poop. I'd rather see diarrhea. I'd rather see vomit. Than a booger? Yes. I don't know why. What is the obsession with boogers and you? I, I think you <laughs> are the one obsessed. I want nothing to do with them. I just like saying You're gonna name it. your like first dog Booger, booger. aren't you? Just so you I have to hear it all the time. Booger. Booger. I think it's because you have the cute British accent and it sounds like booger. Like it booger. sounds like bugger. How do you say it? Booger. 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 It sounds so cute, doesn't <laughs> it? Booger. She sounds it sounds it like really adorably. Booger. Alright guys. Thanks for tuning into this booger tag. <laughs> We should do that. No. What was your favorite booger of your life? <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> See, she 
she, she gets grossed out easier I, than I do. I just like the word. Okay. I, I, I like your reaction to it. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Tag Tuesday. We love you. Boogers. Leave a comment below. Boogers. About boogers. Boogers. Let us know if you like this video. Boogers. Let us know what other topics we should do a tag on. Boogers. Not boogers. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to take care of this. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.